Though should you upgrade heroes and why not survival? This is an often asked question. A lot of people like to know. Should I get this hero? Should I upgrade that hero? Should I do this? Should I do that? A lot of people will tell you out of the gate, right? That uh, a lot of people get Zen Man, right? And then they go, oh, wait a minute. That was a bad idea. Why did I do that? And part of the reason why, and this is some advice, and hear me out. Every generation of hero over time will be weaker, so much so that eventually they're useless. Now, that might come as hard to believe, but after a certain point, every generation of hero that comes after the one that you've got now will be stronger than the previous generation statistically, and their skills will often be more competitive and therefore better both in arena and in PvP. So when you talk investment, or how do you say which one I should upgrade, and da 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 da, it's more of a money question than it is a do you have the X Y and Z for X Y and Z. If you're free to play, you're you're gonna probably you know sink your tokens into probably Molly, and that'll be fine when you're playing the game for the first couple of weeks. But when you start playing the game into the mid game, you've been playing the game for like a couple of months. This is what ultimately defines this spenders from the free to play. The spenders are going to have heroes like Geronimo after a certain number of you know tries. They might have Alonzo or Flint or Philly in various stages of star level. And very few of them are also going to have their exclusive cure maxed out. And so if you're wondering, you know, whether or not should I upgrade a certain hero is more of a long term question. For some people but it's not really you know so the thing is is if you want to take advantage of the hero you typically max them out and if you max them out you get the most amount of benefit it's rather simple and it's you know in practice expensive uh, so when you want to answer this question of whether I should have one or the other the question isn't whether you want to have one or the other what are you going to do with it if you do because what I don't think a lot of people understand is, is that you, you can keep up with the Jonases and try, but you're more than likely going to fail. That is to say that these, there are people that are spending a stupid amount of money in this game, and if you want to compete with them, you're more than happy to spend in terms of like money. It gets up there pretty high, pretty fast. Like We're talking hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars, pretty fast. Uh, and it might be uncomfortable for some people, so I really don't recommend it. If you're willing to keep up with it, great. If not, don't try it. <laughs> you know, like, if anything, right? Um, what I'm trying to get at here is is that if you want to upgrade a hero, or you want to do a certain hero, what I think a lot of people need to do first is really consider what actually matters. And really, when you think about it, like, yeah, you can have a Gen 1, 2, or 3 hero, and upgrade it all the way. Then you'll have the advantages that come with having a Gen 1, Gen 2, or Gen 3 maxed out, right? But I think a lot of people slide over and they ignore the hell out of their gear. Like your hero gear, you can unequip it and move it to the next era. That is to say that if you have a level 15 hero essence set at level 100 and it's all mythic, yeah, you're going to be a lot more advantageous than the guy that just picked up Flint or Greg for a 1 star. And decided that they're going to max it. Because it's still not going to have the statistical bonuses that are going to come with that essence gear. Like that does have its weight in gold in essence. Yes, after a certain point, if you run into somebody with an essence set comparable to yours. And they have Greg at max, then yeah, you're going to lose. It's kind of how this game works. You either spend more or don't. <laughs> and if you're just not there, you're just not there. That's just the way it goes. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I would say, you know, the only other pit stop that a lot of people don't put enough time and thought into is chief gear, chief gear. You can kind of hold it and move it into the next and the next, and it won't really matter if you have a hero that goes from X, Y, and Z, because it's not a factor, right? Plus you get all the wonderful bonuses that come with holding onto them too. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but I mean, Hey, it's worth its weight in gold after a certain period of time. You know, having certain levels of charms even has its own pro quo bonuses. But uh, 
Yeah, I point this stuff out because, you know, the question of upgrading your heroes is also entirely dependent on how old your state is. And I think a lot of people miss on the fact that not everybody's in the same state of, of a server. That is to say that you're going to unlock different heroes and different features depending on how old your state is. If your state's like only been around for 30 days, then yeah, you're only going to have whatever's available to you in the first 30 days of the state. And after two months, you'll get a certain amount of items. If you don't know what the heck you have coming down the pipeline, though, and you're completely clueless, go to the Whiteout Survival Discord and just go to Guides and type in Timeline. It will tell you approximately to the date, even tell you where to look and how to find out. You want a shortcut to that answer just go to the monuments look at what the very first date was that's all you need to do if you get a date point and click and you know you can kind of subtract from there that'll approximately tell you how many days you've been in the state you know most people that are diehards are like well i just go to my vip and it just tells me how many days you know when, whether you're a diehard playing the game every day or if you're the guy who just kind of plays it casually you know whichever way you want to go that's pretty much all you need to know as far as whether or not you're going to upgrade heroes or not. Hopefully that was somewhat insightful, but my general t set of thumbs here would suggest that you probably don't consider upgrading heroes unless you plan to be thinking in terms of two generations ahead. That is to say that if you max out a hero, don't max it out until the next two generations come up and then max the next generation. Because typically what ends up happening is the first generation that comes after the generation that you have will be slightly better than the current generation. But by that second generation, it'll be better than that first generation ever will be. So, with any luck, hopefully that was somewhat helpful. And you'll be able to completely walk all over the people that don't know this information. And I'll see you guys to the next video.